What's up guys, my name is Devin and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're gonna be comparing the Super Red 6.0 to the brand new Super Red 7.0. Let's do it. All right guys, so here are the two gloves we are gonna be comparing today. The first one is the Nike Super Red 6.0. You guys know these, hope you guys have watched the full review. And the next one we're gonna talk about today is the Super Red 7.0. Super excited to talk about these. This is my first time getting my hands on these. So today we're gonna compare the two gloves, see what they've changed and uh, let's see. So the first thing I wanna talk about is kind of the back of hand and the padding on these gloves. And the first thing I'm noticing is the padding is a little bit different. Uh, the actual shapes are pretty similar, but the padding itself just feels a lot different. So this one was a little bit thicker, I'd say a little bit heavier, but the new padding on the 8.0s is much thinner. I'm not sure if it's gonna be as protective, but it does feel a lot more lightweight, low profile, and just feels a little bit better than that one. The back of hand materials themselves seem to be pretty similar. This one's kind of like a, a cloth. I'm not really sure what to call it. This one's kind of got like a finer thread count, I almost wanna say. I don't really know much about materials and stuff. Um, but it's definitely a little bit different. This one has a little bit more texture than this one. Also, the ventilation on these gloves is totally different on the 6.0. Another key difference between the 6 and the 7.0 is the ventilation system. So you guys can see this one has a nice white piece of material in kind of this wishbone shape, and that kind of extracts some of that heat that builds up in the glove while you play football. And now the new one, it's no longer a wishbone shape. They have one piece right here and then one piece right here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's gonna get rid of heat as well as the wishbone or if it's gonna be the same or better or what but it is something to keep an eye on. Something else I'm noticing right now is that between the fingers, you do get a little bit of breathable mesh instead of just this material all the way down. On the 6.0s, it was truly just this kind of plasticky material all the way down, which makes the glove a little bit heavier and hold in heat much more. But that's one of the main reasons this glove feels so light and flexible is because you just get a little bit of mesh here. Just helps your fingers breathe a little bit and keep the glove light. The next thing I wanna compare is the actual straps. They're pretty similar in shape. The design's a little bit different. I think the sizing is pretty much the same here. I do like the design of this one, kind of the Nike swoosh with the crooked lines. And then this one always kind of felt kind of bland because there's so much open space, not really much going on. But the straps themselves, pretty similar shape, size, look pretty much the same. So nothing to really talk about there. And then same thing with the actual wrist cuff of the glove. This one might be a little bit thinner, so you might get a little bit more support with the new 7.0. Um, but the wrists themselves look pretty much the same. Also, another thing I wanna know is that the Nike swoosh is padded on both these gloves. That's just one of my favorite small features that Nike does with their super pads. It's just a cool little touch and I'm glad they kept it. Another thing I'm kind of taking a look at is the thumb padding design. You guys can see this one's a lot less and this one is more, there's more padding. It's more defined. You guys can see the outlines of the padding a little bit better. And I think they're actually using a different foam. It's definitely a lot more um, squeezable for lack of a better word. It's a lot softer um, than this one. This one was kind of stiff mixing with that textured material, but this one, it's kind of like, it's smoother and it's more defined and the material itself feels softer. Also something else to note on the new 7.0, you have a little bit of an index finger wrap. You guys can kind of see how it wraps around, giving you a little bit of extra grip up here. You did not get that on the last model. So another cool small detail. I'm not really sure what to call this, but this glove just looks a lot stiffer. You guys can actually see like the fingers and how they're kind of like shaped before you even put the glove on. This one is more like a free flowing, you know, there's no like, stiffness in the fingers like you get on this one. Last thing we're gonna talk about is the actual grip. Both these gloves have Maniger Plus. I think this one's gonna feel a little bit better, the grip, because of how good the ball feels gonna be with how nice this new back of hand material is. It's a similar material, but it's a little bit different. And like I said, it's just much more flexible, a much more lightweight feeling glove, and that adds to how you feel the football. As far as design goes, the gloves look pretty similar. Like I said, they moved the ventilation system a little bit. The swooshes are a little bit different. Um, the palm design, it looks like they're going with the kind of this crazy um, design here with the alpha branding here and on this one it was just alpha branding on a solid palm nothing really exciting about that but these are two pretty similar football gloves i think they made some key tweaks on this new 7.0 so i really can't wait to get a full review done on these so keep an eye out for that and uh, that's gonna do it there you guys have it there's a true comparison of the super red 6.0 and the brand new super red 7.0 hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did like the video comment what you guys want to see next from us and subscribe for more videos just like this one my name is devin also known as fbe and thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode of footballers